All right. So um, we up today and we're talking about Killian's dehiscence. All right. The anatomy of the Killian's dehiscence. I can remember in my 300, in my third year in medical school, I failed a question on this. Okay. So the anatomy of the Killian dehiscence. Right, this is a question. Discuss the anatomy of the Killian dehiscence. All right. So Killian dehiscence. This is just where Killian dehiscence is. All right. Also known as Killian's triangle. All right, has so many names, all right? So I found out that I actually knew about it. Uh, about it, okay, I knew it as Killian's Triangle, all right? But our professor brought up the, the, the question, like, discuss the Killian dehiscence, and that's where I went off, okay? So now, talking about the Killian's dehiscence is actually a very important area in the body. All right, so this is Killian's dehiscence, right? Killian's dehiscence. So it is known as um, pharyngeal dimple or Killian's triangle or Killian Lima's triangle. So many names, okay? So you have to know all these names so that they don't have to twist this question I feel, all right? So it is a triangular area in the wall of the pharynx between the oblique fiber of propulsive, of propulsive tyropharyngeus part of inferior constrictor muscle and the transverse fibers of sphincteric cricopharyngeus muscles okay um okay which are also from the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx okay so let me come over it again it is a triangular area in the wall of the pharynx first of all now it is in between the oblique fibers of the tyropharyngeus part of the inferior constrictor muscle and the transverse fibers of the sphincteric cricopharyngeus muscles of the inferior constrictor muscles of the pharynx. Okay, so if you don't understand this right up, you can just backward this video and write what I've said, okay, because that explanation is very much more simple. Let me come over again. It is a triangular area between the oblique fibers and the transverse fibers of the inferior constrictor muscles of the pharynx okay but this inferior constrictor muscles now uh the oblique fibers are actually from the tyropharyngeus parts why the transverse fibers are from the cricopharyngeus muscle parts okay but all of them come together to form the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx okay so um these oblique muscles are from the tyropharyngeus. I hope you guys will understand this picture better now. The transverse muscles are from the cricopharyngeus muscles, all right? So, but all of them are from the inferior constrictor uh, muscle of the pharynx, okay? So, the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx has tyropharyngeus part formed of the transverse... Um, okay, it form, form of the oblique muscles, all right? And then, cricopharyngeus formed of what? Transverse fibers, all right? So this is what we call the Killian's dehiscence, okay? Or the Killian limus, Killian limus triangle, or the Killian's triangle, or the whatever name, okay? So that's it. See you guys in the next era.